Hey guys, how's it going? So here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. So we have got a upgraded Neymar hybrid. I wanted to try him out, and since he has been upgraded to an 88 player, I thought I'd give him a try and see how he fares in the World Cup add-on. Now, before we do get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the FIFA shop.co.uk, a really awesome website, and I believe they have lowered their prices, like I said yesterday, so you might want to check their prices out if you haven't already but the link will be in the description and if you use the code TOBY10 you get an even further discount which is really really cool and this defense now I wish I could make it more exciting but I was trying so hard to get some more players that I could have at the center position simply because I don't actually have many on the World Cup add-on and it kind of makes it difficult to get the really strong links to allow you to have a kind of variety of players so I'm sorry that the defense has some similar players in than the last one, but the attack is really, really awesome, and I'll let you know what I think about Neymar once we get into some gameplay, but he was definitely really, really fun to play with. And also, whilst I'm talking to you guys, I thought I might let you know, I plan on doing a 12-hour live stream tomorrow. You might have remembered, like, I think two weeks ago, I mentioned that I'm doing a 95 mile charity hike in the Scottish Highlands. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to probably be in a lot of pain, but it's going to be really, really good. And to raise money for that, I'm going to do a charity stream tomorrow for 12 hours. I'm going to do it from 12 p.m. GMT until 12 a.m. So 12 p.m. in the afternoon until midnight, pretty much, which should be really fun. I'm going to have my mate Glenn along with us and he's the one that's actually doing the walk with me, which is going to be really fun. I'm genuinely looking forward to it. I think we've actually raised quite a bit so far, so I'll leave the charity link down below, and if you want to donate, you're more than welcome to. But I thought I'd let you know that we're doing a charity live stream tomorrow, and it should be a lot of fun playing FIFA, playing some other games probably at some point as well. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've streamed, and I just thought I'd let you know. I'll probably do, like, a little announcement video tomorrow as well, but it's going to be really, really fun. I hope you guys can make it and it's gonna be a long one it's been a while since I've done a big stream and it's nice to do something for charity I always like trying to raise money it's always really really fun and gets you guys involved a little bit I'm going to be doing prizes and giveaways as well for the people that do in fact donate so if you want to wait until tomorrow and see what we've got then you're more than welcome to this team is shaping up very nice we've got Santi at center attack in mid we've got Fellaini at CDM and we've got Paulinho also at the other center defensive mid We've got a really, really awesome team. And Sydney Sam is insanely good. He is so, so good. 90 pace, 80 shooting, 83 dribbling, 4-star skills. He's crazy good on the World Cup game. Like, honestly, really, really awesome. You can see Neymar on the left-hand side there as well. But at striker, we're going to throw in Diego Costa. I wanted to try him out in this game simply because I really like him on the normal ultimate team. I find him a very good player. He's very strong and his headings pretty good along with his shooting very very nice card stats what did I think of him wasn't as good as I wanted him to be to be honest like I thought he was going to be really really good on par with his old team card but I don't know he just didn't really do as much as he used to like on the ultimate team game mode he will literally just steamroller through the opponent's defense but with this guy he didn't really fancy getting forward, he didn't really fancy making runs, and instead, it was more Neymar that was doing the job. So what did I think of this team? It was really, really good and genuinely very fun to play. Sydney Sam there with a great look. Honestly, he's actually one of the best players in this squad. Neymar as well, he is so much fun to use. Very, very good shooting and just kind of clinical finishing to be honest. That five-star weak foot is superb, really Really awesome, and Diego Costa did actually get some some decent goals, and he didn't have a trouble scoring. It was mainly just getting into the right position. Once he was there, he was fantastic, but it did take him a little while to get into the right position. But Sydney Sam is just, he's always in the right place, and he's making finesse shots so easy to bury into the back of the net. But Neymar was such a joy to play with. Really, really fun. Gets taken down there, but he did most of the hard work, and we do manage to get the ball in the back of the net. But the way that I play with this team, just really simple passing, like pretty much abuse Neymar because his dribbling and his pace and his shooting 
is just unbelievable. You can literally just dribble with him and people won't be able to stop you. You can just walk around people like this. Like, it's, it's so good. I haven't used a player like him before. To be fair, I haven't really used Neymar on the normal ultimate team, so I can't really compare him to anything, but he is sublime. He is really, really good. And that finish from Sydney Sound was superb, but a great team. If you've got some of the players, I'd really, really recommend trying out. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. It's great fun. But that does wrap up today's video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and subscribe for some more for myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.